All this change makes me feel like I want to get out of Austin. The lower class is being pushed out of the city. The middle class is becoming the lower class. Then you have the homeless people, and they're getting kicked out of their camps. I think that the, with the influx of folks coming in, they are unintentionally gentrifying neighborhoods that are predominantly black and brown. They are pushing them out to where they're no longer able to live in Austin. I think the population is going to continue to grow. People like Austin's a very you know, keep Austin weird type of mentality. They, people want that. They they know of that. So they come here expecting that, and that has kind of shifted to like just keep Austin like survivable. I think we've definitely seen more of a need for food access around the city. I think one of my preconceived notions was that um, I thought food insecurity was kind of limited and um, didn't affect a large number of people, but in reality it's pretty pervasive. Keep Austin Fed is a food rescue organization. Our mission is twofold. We are tackling food insecurity by redistributing surplus food um, around Austin, as well as keeping food out of the waste stream. And we're talking about fully, completely edible, ready to go on a plate food um, and that would otherwise go into the landfill. We're a volunteer organization, so a lot of our food pickups are done by volunteers in their own individual vehicles. And during the pandemic, we would be called, we were getting called by a lot of restaurants or, you know, larger commercial kitchen facilities that were closing down. And we're talking large quantities of food and the logistics behind coordinating a larger number of volunteers in their vehicles to get to a certain place at a certain time to sort of distribute out that food can be difficult. We've been partners with Whole Foods for quite a while. Um, we actually do weekly pickups on a regular basis. Then definitely uh, that relationship kind of strengthened in 2020 when we were a recipient of one of their refrigerated vans. Whole Foods Market launched Nourishing Our Neighborhoods in September 2020, where we began donating refrigerated vans to community-based food rescue uh, organizations uh, to transport food to communities in 18 markets across the United States and Canada. The Nourishing Our Neighborhoods vans expand capacity and capability to be able to transport food where it's available to those in need. I think we've definitely seen more of a need for food access around the city. There are areas in the city that are underrepresented and under-resourced for food access. So with the van, um, you know, we're able to say yes to larger food pickups. My name is Kimberly Love and I am the program manager here at Waterloo Terrace, which is a Foundation Communities property. So Foundation Communities provides low-income housing for folks who previously experienced homelessness, but also folks with intellectual or developmental disabilities, veterans, we're limited on the resources that we provide as an agency, so this sort of comes in and fills that gap so that we can focus on the housing and everything else. I think that if you're experiencing homelessness, you know that like food is hard to come by. You know, there's a lot of limitations on like time and when you can go to a food pantry or when it's available. So food insecurity is a huge thing and it's hard for folks to sort of pursue higher level um, wants or goals if you haven't had those basic needs met with shelter and food and clothing and things like that. You can get a meal that's cheap, but whether or not it can feed your family for a week is a whole other issue. So the insecurity part of it from day to day, I think is more about good healthy food being available. I do think that, you know, big industry has a responsibility to try and get food that's still good and ready to eat to people in need. Man, it's a, 
it's a thing that you call security. <laughs> you know, you know, you know you're gonna have it. You know what I'm saying? So I look forward to that every week with the Whole Foods. You know. So what I'm doing now, I try to uh, every week. I try to accumulate enough where I could have uh, healthy food in my refrigerator. You know. I, it's starting me to uh, to get on a route with a routine of, of eating healthy food. So by me uh, being able to uh, get the healthy food that I need, it would really help me to, uh, to get back and, and I can get back in doing the things in which I need to do physically. I came into the picture because I was down, I was a receiver. I'm the lead receiver and I happen to be the, the, the contact, the point of contact, because everything happens through this area. We have the donation rack over there, and we have like, and then the red bins came into play and we see in the, in the cooler and in the freezer. We have a lot of extra food that we donate and I would much rather see it be spread out across the city of Austin to people that need it as opposed to going to the landfill. It's one of our core values is caring about our planet and about our community and this is one way that we can definitely put that foot forward is uh, by helping our, our direct community you know immediately every single day. I think that the biggest challenge folks have is like working through past trauma and so even if you're housed, if you're not getting those like sub extra support systems, it's gonna be really hard for you to maintain your housing to pursue any other like higher level goals. My personal view is that there, um, there are positive things that come out of this. Like folks can get a job. I've seen so many folks reconnect with their family once they've been here, once they've been stabilized, when they, once they've gotten their medication. Um, seeing their kids that they were taking, that were taken away from them. Um, some folks even pursued school. We think that there is life after homelessness and there is um, life after like foundation communities, yeah. When we both retired, we went from uh, work as special education administrators designed around children with disabilities in order to help. Once we left that work, there was this void and like we've got to find some people that we can help. We have the time to load up groceries, to make connections with people at places like Whole Foods, at places like Waterloo Terrace. Uh, we're regularly here, so we're familiar to not only people like Mojo, but the store personnel. And I think we're kind of establishing some rapport with people. And it just, it feels good to have those relationships as well as the service that we're providing. And it's not just us giving. I mean, we are receiving too. The people that we get to connect with really enrich our lives yeah. as well. I don't know how you can see um, the amount of homelessness that we have here and not want to do anything. But luckily, I think that Austin, again, with our progressive values and our desire to like want to help, um, each other for the greater good. I think that that's there. We're friendly people. We're Texans. Texans are very friendly, helpful. We want to help people that can't help themselves. And uh, as long as people are taking the food, we're going to keep on giving it. We are a city of, a community of plenty. And what we need to get back and focus on is what are we doing with the plenty? It's always a matter of thinking about your community as a whole, recognizing that we're not all in the same place, we don't all have the same means, and we need to be thinking about others just as much as we're thinking about ourselves. So there's always somebody to help. Food is a human right. You know, we all have to eat and there's no reason why anybody shouldn't be able to have access to organic foods or healthy foods or fresh foods. And you know, the more people have access to that, the healthier they are, you know, the happier they are, and the more it strengthens our community.